Yes, and I'm joined now in studio by Manuel Navon, Professor of International Relations at Tel Aviv University. Good evening, Good Professor evening. Navon. Uh, Professor Navon, it seems like an increasingly difficult and perhaps dangerous situation for uh, Premier Cameron to somehow maneuver this widening division in the cabinet. It's not very common that cabinet ministers so publicly and loudly disagree. It actually happened during the Margaret Thatcher administration. There was a controversy at the time about joining the European monetary system, not the, the European Union of today, but the European monetary system. And many a conservative and Eurosceptic MKs in her party openly criticized her at the time. But there's no doubt that David Cameron made a gamble. Uh, on the other hand, he did commit in, he, in the previous elections to hold a referendum on the question. And as he said in his speech in Parliament, he has to fulfill his commitment. And speaking of the referendum and looking forward, it seems according to polls we're seeing over the past week that the British public is still not very decided on uh, which uh, side to take. Right. Well, I think that many Britons are very uh, confused about the pros and cons of remaining or not remaining in the European Union. Uh, Britain joined the what was called at the time the uh, European Economic Community uh, in 1973 because it had, it had lost its empire and its uh, access to uh, wide, very wide markets around the world. And, and the, for the British at the time, they felt that the uh, common market on the continent had become some kind of a, 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 a blockers. And so that's why they join the uh, European Economic Community. They're not sure today what are the benefits. And I think that the main task of David Cameron is really to make the case for the advantages of Britain being part of the European Union, especially after the special deal that was negotiated between the EU and Britain. And speaking of that deal, what would it mean for the European Union if a Brexit or so-called Brexit did occur? I think it would have a very uh, strong historical significance, a very, in my opinion, negative significance, because uh, there are many achievements to the European Union. Let us not forget that this union, originally the uh, community, the common market, uh, was formed between, uh, uh, between France, Germany, and other European countries after the Second World War. And that today the idea of another war in Europe is completely, I mean, it, it wouldn't cross our minds. So there is a very obvious achievement. Uh, and I think that it would send a very problematic message uh, of going back uh, backwards in history. Uh, I mean, true, there are other members, other European countries that are not part of the EU, uh, such as Norway and Switzerland, because they don't think they would benefit. But Britain is a major country in Europe, and I think it would just send the wrong historical message. And yet despite uh, Cameron's campaign, it seems that uh, according to what we're seeing from responses in the UK, that Britons will eventually vote on whether they want to or not, regardless of any explanations given to them, practical explanations given to them. On well, I think this is, it, it is remindful of the referendum that took place about a year ago about Scotland. Uh, it was more emotional than, than rational. Uh, all the arguments about the pros and cons of remaining in the UK were really emotional. And I think that, I mean, when we heard the, uh, the report before of this woman saying, you know, we are an island and we're always an island, I mean, these are not like ex ex exactly rational arguments. So it might eventually, uh, what might decide the result of the referendum uh, at the end might be just emotional. And I think it really, it is important for David Cameron, the prime minister, because he's the one who initiated this referendum to make this, the case uh, for remaining in the EU. Emotions uh, making these big decisions. We'll see how it turns out. Professor Nabon, thank you very thank much you. for joining me tonight.